As 2021 is coming to a close, I wanted to do a video to kind of explain a lot that's been going on for me. Once again, I have promised you guys that I would be back in gear, uploading my Let's Plays, my music, and obviously once again, I feel like I have failed you in that. And for that, I deeply apologize. 2021 was not the best year for me, and I'm sure it wasn't the best year for many other people. In April, I had an injury on my right foot, a contusion, and a microfracture on my ankle. I still don't know how I got it to this day. I didn't fall, trip, or hit anything. Because of this, I was home for six months with barely a good paycheck. Because my job is based on a base pay and a premium pay, I was only received my base pay. And not only that, I had to pay my benefits, like my medical and dental and vision. So my paycheck was ridiculous. Ridiculously low. And this was at a time where I had just moved into a new apartment a month before my injury. Coming back to work has been one of the hardest challenges for me. My foot is still not quite a hundred percent. But since they had used all their options, there was no choice but for me to go back to work. I have a full time job of standing for eight hours, <laughs> so you could see how it is not quite helpful in the least. Luckily, I do have some of the best coworkers and supervisors that do let me sit and rest when I need it. But even before I came back to work, I started to notice more issues with my body. A lot of medical complications runs in my family. The list is just horrendous, to be honest. So before I came back to work, I did some research and tried to see if doctors could figure out what was wrong with me. I went through so many appointments, which were not easy at the time, since I once again had a foot injury. Even now, I'm still dealing with the medical bills because of all these appointments. But in late October, I was finally given results for all my searching. I have been diagnosed with fibromyalgia. For those who do not know what this is, fibromyalgia is a long-term chronic pain problem. It's a condition that causes pain all over the body. It can cause a lot of lack of sleep, heavy fatigue, stress and anxiety. And pain is often worse following activity and can last for days afterwards. Everyone who has fibromyalgia can experience it differently. Every day could be different. It can be a good day. It can be a bad day. For me, though, the bad days really outweigh the good. There's nothing particularly wrong with my body in the sense of, like, my bones or my muscles or my joints. But basically, it's a disorder of pain regulation. I guess the best way to explain it is think of it like a thermostat. You want to set it to the temperature you want that's most comfortable for you. But it's broken. It's stuck on the highest level, meaning it's too hot. That is what my pain is doing. My pain sensations are amplified through the roof. And just simple things can bother me when in reality, it shouldn't at all. 
because of the many jobs I've had in the past 15 years, as well as many other medical issues and complications I've had in the past, finally cleared a lot of things for me. Another issue that I have is I get a lot of foggy memory or I can't concentrate. I remember I used to be in a lot of pain during my previous jobs and not fully understanding why. Because a lot of the times, it just didn't make sense. I can even recall events now that I would attend like PAX, MAGFest, or GDQ events. And I can remember days where I was just super tired, super exhausted. Even now I can recall GDQ events since GDQs are a week long event and where there were days where I was just simply too exhausted to do anything. And it sucked because at those type of events, you want to do everything you want. You want to hang out with your friends. You want to go places, you know, have amazing food, have fun. But there were days where I would wake up so late, do my ho shift, and then just go back to the hotel room and fall asleep. There were even times where I would oversleep. I have been late to ho shifts in the past. And I've always felt embarrassed about it. My body would just be so tired. The one thing I was told from my rheumatologist is that fibromyalgia as of now is not curable. There are ways to help me in hopes to reduce the pain. Therapy is an option. There are options and medications. But with my previous experiences with medication and them tending to stop working, it does worry me. Ultimately, it's never going to go away. I've even had other doctors tell me that this is something I'm unfortunately going to have to deal with. I think that's what upsets me the most. The best I can do is try in hopes either the therapy or the medications can help me. This is my first time experiencing this, so this is all new to me. But even doctors are telling me that if it doesn't change, that it can get worse over the years, that maybe by the time I'm in my 50s or 60s, that I may be in a wheelchair. I originally wanted to post this the other day. But I was received a message on my phone that my last grandparent had passed away. He had complications with skin cancer. I had lost another grandparent earlier this year to complications with uterine cancer. I had lost another grandparent last year in 2020 due to COVID. It's why going back to work has been one of the most difficult challenges for me physically and mentally. And I don't want people to think that, oh, she's just being lazy and doesn't want to go back to work like the rest of us are. It sucks now realizing that the pain I feel throughout the day is not really normal. 
that now while I'm standing for eight hours at my job, I will continue to feel pain. That even though there are some days that I can tolerate, there are many other days where I feel like I can't even stand for more than an hour. It's scary with what's been going on with the world, the pandemic. It's scary when you don't know if you're going to get it or not. I have to do what I can to protect myself because I don't know if I will get COVID. Will I get the symptoms or not? Can I survive having it? These past two years, I have lost many family members to it. I have family members that have to be with an oxygen tank for the rest of their lives because of it. I have family members who have it now and are fighting it as we speak. Even after all of this, I still don't want to give up. I think I've probably... I've had one of the worst looks these past few years. For those who follow me on social media may understand what I'm talking about. I just always seem to have bad luck follow me wherever I go. And when I think things are getting better, when something very good happens in my life, bad luck finds its way back. As we are getting to the end of 2021, this was something that I've been wanting to tell you, but was afraid to share it. Only a few people knew about my recently found condition, and they have been nothing but supportive to me. Thank you. I really do hope from this video, it will bring awareness that there are people dealing with this, with fibromyalgia, and hopefully maybe make others seek out their doctors and get the help they need. Because regardless of what they say now, I have to stay positive. That maybe not now, but hopefully in the near future, there can be a cure. For fibromyalgia. Being positive has always been one of the most difficult things for me to do because of all that I have been through these past few years. But if there is something I've always done, is that I always put others before me. As someone who will donate tons of money for charity regardless of me being poor and in debt who will try to help others in their time of need if it means them getting the help and me never receiving it I'll do it my positivity has always been helping others and I will continue to keep it that way. For those who continue to be on my side, whether you're a viewer who watches me on YouTube or Twitch, whether you're one of my close friends who have supported me through these tough times, whether you're someone who's just watching this for the first time, who is just curious, thank you. Thank you so much for being a kind and caring person. I hope that as we end 2021, that 2022 will bring us some light, some positivity. I'll try my very best to continue doing what I love most, and that's entertaining you. Whether it be on Twitch, or YouTube, or heck, even on social media. 
because if any of my streams or videos or posts throughout these years have helped you in any way, shape, or form, it's worth all the pain I have to endure. Thank you.